Bolivia has about 57 million hectares of some of the most biodiverse tropical forest on Earth. This is a huge area. You could fit more than 100 countries in there, side by side. Every year, about 300,000 hectares of this forest is cut and burned and turned into either cropland or pastures. That corresponds to the total area of the 44 smallest countries in the world. The carbon emissions from this deforestation amounts to about 150 million tons per year, or about 15 tons per person. This makes Bolivians similar to Americans in terms of carbon emissions. At this rate of deforestation, it would take about 200 years to deforest it all. We don't do something about deforestation in, tr in tropical rainforests. It is very unlikely that uh, we can actually deal with global climate change on the scale that is necessary. In other words, forests are so important for climate that if we just let deforestation continue as it is now, then we may as well forget about having a global climate agreement. You can forget about renewable energies. You can forget about other kinds of policies for dealing with climate change. But if we don't deal with forests, then don't bother with doing anything else. When a farmer converts a plot of forest to agriculture, it's not because he's bad or ignorant, it's because he has calculated that to him the value of agriculture is much larger than the value he can get from standing forest, from hunting, gathering, selling wood once in a while. What he doesn't take into account, though, is that his forest, when it's standing, has value to other people all around the world, especially because forest protects against potentially catastrophic climate change, and people are willing to pay for this protection. So if there was a mechanism that allowed them, especially people from rich countries, to pay the farmer some amount uh, for this protection, that additional benefit to the farmer might just be enough for him to decide that maintaining his forest standing is better for him and his family than converting it to agriculture. And that tipping the balance towards forest, in favor of forest, is really what the international red mechanism is all about. However, the international red plus mechanism is being developed based on carbon emissions trading. And Bolivia has forcefully argued against a market-based mechanism. A joint project between INESET, Conservation International, and London School of Economics, financed by the British Ecosystem Services for Poverty Alleviation Program, ESPA, supports the Bolivian government in developing alternative solutions to reduce deforestation and poverty. The project provides scientific and didactic tools to analyze and discuss the socio-economic and environmental impacts of these alternative solutions. One of the tools is Sim Pachamama, a computer-based simulation tool which mimics the behavior of the inhabitants of a small community on the agricultural frontier in Bolivia during a 20-year period. The economic part of the model tries to incorporate some of the commonly found determinants of deforestation. So for instance, how land is organized, allocated in um, forested areas is one of the main determinants of, of how deforestation and land uses develop. Similarly, migration is a key issue. The extent to which people are able to travel out of the, the forested areas or travel into the forested areas is going to be a key determinant. And these have been found, these are found to be determinants of deforestation in many different parts of the world. Es importante que la gente, la población, los actores locales estén plenamente involucrados en el diseño, implementación, conceptualización, monitoreo de cualquier herramienta que ayude a entender los procesos de deforestación en Bolivia. De tal manera que la gente pueda apropiar estos instrumentos y llegado el momento no rechace la política pública que vienen de los gobiernos nacionales, municipales o locales. Porque yo también no le veo mucho que solamente sea conservar 
conservar, conservar y, y para qué, o sea, si sí. vamos a volver a lo, a lo, hace 500 años como siempre se dice, yo no le veo tanto así, yo creo que también se puede combinar bien el desarrollo con el medio ambiente, se puede creo de que para que esto tenga un mejor resultado hace falta una política desde el gobierno The ideal outcome is for all people in the community to have high levels of human well-being while inflicting little damage on the forest. I think an important contribution of this project is to really make um, clear in a way that's understandable at many levels that there are many different kinds of policies that can affect both um, human well-being and deforestation and they interact in interesting ways. The objective of Simpatomama is to encourage discussion about options for reducing deforestation and rural poverty in Bolivia. Bueno, el Simpatomama puede ayudar, puede ayudar en la medida de que eh, al público objetivo al que al que va enfocado, el Simpatomama puede ser útil para que la gente se ubique qué puede pasar de aquí a 5, 10, 15, 20 años. La gente está acostumbrada aquí al ver, eh, el, 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 ver sus objetivos, sus logros, el día de hoy, el día de mañana pasado, ¿no? en inmediatez. El Sin Pachamama puede ser útil para ubicarnos de aquí a 15, 20, 30 años de lo que estamos haciendo ahorita, de lo que puede pasar mañana pasado, ¿no? de aquí, como le digo, a largo plazo. The tool can be used as part of the process of training and consultation about Red Plus, or as part of the process of designing and negotiating alternative mechanisms of reducing deforestation. While Sin Pachamama is currently based on the situation observed in a specific part of Bolivia, the region around Cruz Renavaque and San Buenaventura, it is possible to change the initial setup to reflect the situation in other regions within Bolivia or even in other countries. The International Red Plus mechanism is currently under design and negotiation and we have a small window of opportunity to help secure that the mechanism is designed in a participatory way so that it becomes both fair and effective. It is embraced by forest communities and it receives sufficient international funding to really make a difference both to the tropical forest and to the people living there.